Little known fact about the Christmas movie is sometimes Alex uses me as a sounding board to see if things are appropriate since there's some language differences with Alex being from Romania. Hey, can I say... Probably the biggest news this year was issue two. The We Are Ohio campaign? No, the one in the North Pole. And you know, it's not easy to repeal a law like that. It's not easy to go door to door in sub-zero temperatures and blinding blizzards. But we had to repeal the law, and we had one simple message. Vote no on issue two. It's unfair, it's unsafe, and it hurts elves and reindeer. Issue two just isn't in the holiday spirit. Santa doesn't say, you're either on the sleigh or run over by the sleigh. He doesn't call the reindeer idiots. When he makes a list, he doesn't check it twice for things he can't bargain anymore. We had to go to the ballot. We don't turn our backs on those who fill our stockings with toys. And who could forget Clausgate, where they made it look like Mrs. Claus actually supported issue two. I'm Mrs. Claus. This November, I'm urging you to vote yes on issue two. It's awesome. Vote yes. She got even, though. In her next ad, she was fired up. North Pole reindeer risked their lives to deliver gifts on Christmas Eve. But issue two would make it illegal to negotiate for enough reindeer to pull a sleigh, putting their safety and our toys at risk. That's why I'm voting no on issue two. But the Grinch stole my words to make it seem like I support issue two. I don't. He must be desperate to twist my words to get his way. Don't end up with coal in your stocking. Vote no on issue two. I'm still crunching the numbers, but this victory was really historic. Not only did we win labor households, we won the vote with polar bears, walruses, and fictional characters. And you can see, we even held our own with abominable snowmen. And you know what kind of <laughs> they can be. I'm still working on the volunteer rewards program. We did it. Let's raise our mugs and join together in a hot chocolate toast. We are the, the North, North Pole. Pole. We are the, the North, North Pole. Pole. We are the, the North, North Pole. Pole. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Did I miss it? Hi. I was hired by Santa this year to supervise his elves and his elves love these little candy cane things and the more of them they have the happier they are. And I like to keep the elves happy because the happier they are the more work they get done. So I made them a special candy cane uh, to hopefully get them uh, all excited this year. <laughs> and this is one of them. Now they're as happy as could be. Now, Red Solo Cup is the best receptacle for barbecue and tailgates, fair festivals, and you serve in Oh, okay, Mary, I'll be right there. Just a second. Hey, Red Solo Cup is cheap and disposable. In 14 years, they are decomposable, and unlike my home, they are not proposable. Freddie Mac and kiss my. Red Solo Cup, I fill you up. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. I love you, Red Solo Cup. I lift you up. Proceed to party! Proceed to party! 
Hey, so what if I say... Why would that ever come up in conversation? On the first day of new law where Ohio gave to me Petitions to be filled out quickly On the second day of the new law where Ohio gave to me A lecture from Pete And petitions to be filled out quickly On the third day of the new law where Ohio gave to me Poorly paid temps A lecture from Pete And petitions to be filled out quickly On the fourth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me Confusing canvas maps Poorly paid temps a lecture from Pete. And petitions to be filled out quickly. On the fifth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me. A reminder to stay on message. Confusing canvas maps. Poorly paid temps. A lecture from Pete. And petitions to be filled out quickly. On the sixth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me. A newly revised message. A reminder to stay on message. Confusing Using canvas maps, poorly paid temps, a lecture from Pete, and petitions to be filled out quickly. On the seventh day of the new law where Ohio gave to me, a hottie from Ironton, a newly revised message, a reminder to stay on message, confusing canvas maps, poorly paid temps, a lecture from Pete, and petitions to be filled out quickly. On the eighth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me. A granny who was angry. A hottie from Ironton. A newly revised message. A reminder to stay on message. Confusing canvas maps. Poorly paid temps. A lecture from Pete. And petitions to be filled out quickly. On the ninth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me. One million door knocks. A granny who was angry. A hottie from Ironton. A newly revised message. A reminder to stay on message. Confusing canvas maps. Poorly paid temps. A lecture from Pete. And petitions to be filled out quickly. On the tenth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me. Really swollen feet. One million door knocks. A granny who was angry. A hottie from Ironton. A newly revised message. A reminder to stay on message. Confusing canvas maps. Poorly paid temps. A lecture from Pete. And petitions to be filled out quickly. On the eleventh day of the new law where Ohio gave to me. 2.1 million no votes. Really swollen feet. One million door knocks. A granny who was angry. A hottie from Ironton. A newly revised message. A reminder to stay on message. Confusing canvas maps. Poorly paid temps. A lecture from Pete. And petitions to be filled out quickly. On the twelfth day of the new law where Ohio gave to me A governor who was humbled 2.1 million no votes Really swollen feet 1 million door knocks A granny who was angry A hottie from Ironton A newly revised message A reminder to stay on message Confusing canvas maps Poorly paid temps A lecture from Pete And petitions to be filled out quickly Kasich, the red-faced governor, had a very evil plan. He tried to pick our pockets, but the people took a stand. All of the labor unions got together for the fight. Message to Johnny Kasich, we will fight you cause we're right. Then one sunny election day, voters came to say, Kasich, with your lack of class, why don't you just kiss all You know, the computer services stuff has always been a pretty serious bunch. I have really, I've never seen them goofing off or, or, or just kind of uh, not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're serious. <laughs>
the holidays. Uh, it's been a very stressful year, but it was a good year because we defeated Senate Bill 5, and uh, now the holidays season's upon us. So the, the holidays, that's uh, kind of an interesting time of year because uh, it means a lot of things to a lot of people. For the kids, they like Santa Claus, and um, others, you know, they like the food, the gifts, and everything, but to me, the holiday, and others like me, uh, has a different, but similar meaning. It's a, uh, yeah, a time of miracles. Happy holiday. <laughs>austin and barbu and new hall and davis dotson mckay flora and another davis but do you recall the most famous hq staffer of all norman the former bargner had a very tiny cube and if you ever saw him it was usually well past noon. All of the other staffers used to scoff with jealousy, always asking and wondering, just where in the hell is he? Then one magic Christmas break, Norm sent our boss a text. It said, Larry, I've enjoyed the show, but it's time for me to go. Then all the other managers shouted out for all to hear. Hopefully this means there won't be another freaking strike this year. Happy Christmas, everyone. just such a pleasure to work with a cast like this they're all so talented they're giving so much 
it's it's just an honor and and really a dream come true to see my vision hit the big screen like this and be able to share it with all of you. I mean, we had to cut a few things. Uh, we had to cut the dog sleds delivering the petitions, and, and uh, you know, OEA said there wasn't money in the budget for it. But I'm I'm really really humbled by the way this production's come together. We even held our own with the Bomba Wolves snowman. Cut! What? Can you hit this line? That's the tenth take. How hard is it to say? Can you say it? Say it! <laughs> Director Slog, this is driving me crazy. We're so over budget. We're ten days behind schedule. I think I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. Tell me what the holidays look like. This is what the holidays look like. Who's Igloo? I'm Igloo. Right hey, Ron, tell me what the holidays look like. This is what the holidays look like. <laughs>